The Obama administration claims that in one year, the stimulus program has saved or created about two million jobs. This highway paving equipment company in California canceled plans to lay off 40 workers because of demand created by stimulus projects. You can uh, sleep better at night knowing that uh, you can get up and you know, come to work and not have to go out and try to find a job. In Washington, D.C., about 20 people are working on this road project. Manager Matthew Johns calls the stimulus a lifesaver. So it's certainly possible that you and these guys would be without work right now if it weren't for the student yes, package. Is it? Absolutely. Tell me, where could you be now? At home, looking for jobs, sending out resumes, interviewing. The president says hundreds of thousands of state employees are also working today because of stimulus money. Relief that has allowed 300,000 teachers and education workers to keep their jobs, as well as tens of thousands of cops and firefighters and first responders. Even many independent economists put the number of jobs saved or created at about 1.8 million. But to the great frustration of the White House, most Americans simply refuse to believe it. In a recent CBS News New York Times poll, a mere 6% said the stimulus has created jobs. 41% said it will create jobs. 48% said it will never create jobs. That skepticism due in part to a relentless campaign by Republicans who say the stimulus is a bloated big government failure. The American people are still asking the question, where are the jobs? That's a question people at this New York unemployment agency are also asking. I honestly don't know where they put that money. It hasn't really done much for me. In the year since the stimulus was signed into law, the economy has lost 3.2 million jobs, and the unemployment rate has soared from 8.2 to 9.7 percent. The president's stimulus package was a terrible bargain for the American people. He spent far too much money for the number of jobs he got. The White House admits they haven't been tough enough in responding to critics of the stimulus, so they've started an aggressive new campaign, calling out dozens of Republicans they say are hypocrites, Republicans who voted against the stimulus but then went home and attended ribbon-cutting ceremonies for projects in their states that create jobs. Katie? Chip Reed reporting from the White House with a reality check tonight. Chip, thank you.